Okay, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about HTML before we jump right in and actually start writing any of it. And I want to talk about it because it's sort of important to understand exactly what it is. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And most people think of it as a programming language, a computer programming language. But technically, it's not. It's not really like PHP or Perl or uh, Ruby or Python or JavaScript. It's not a programming language but it acts a lot like a programming language. So we tend to just sort of be like, okay, yeah, it's a programming language, but technically it's not, it's a markup language. And, and uh, that difference is important. Basically, HTML is just a series of tags, opening tags and closing tags. And then whatever's in between the tag, that gets marked up, it gets, something gets done to it. You know, if we wanna make something uh, a title, you can see right here, we have a title tag, an open tag and a close tag. Close is designated by the little slash. And then inside of here, that's what is your title. You know, if you want to do a heading, we do this H1 tag and anything inside of this tag is the heading. So that's all HTML really is. It's just a series of nested tags, opening and closing tags. Now, not all HTML tags close, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but for the most part, they all open and close. And that's all it is. So learning HTML is really just a matter of memorizing all of the tags and then just using them whenever you want to do something to something, right? You want to make text big, you put it in a big text tag, you know, and we'll talk about all the different tags going forward. Uh, I don't want to really sort of get into any of that just yet, but HTML powers absolutely every single website. There is not a website that exists that isn't made out of HTML. All web pages are made out of HTML. So you can go to any website you want and just right click and click this view page source. And you can see the actual HTML for that page. All of it's just ready to view. It's not hidden, it's not secret. You know, it's not proprietary to where they don't want you to see it. It's very obvious and it's just right there. Now, right off the bat, especially before you've taken this course, this isn't any of it gonna really make any sense. But as we go forward, you'll start to understand what all these different tags are, how they're used. And uh, it's actually very, very easy. And you should pick it up very quickly. Like I said, it's just a matter of memorizing all the tags. And there's not that many tags. So uh, we can knock it out fairly quickly. Now, there's basically two parts to a website. There's the HTML, and then there's the CSS. And the CSS is what makes things pretty, right? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. So it adds style. HTML is like the framework, the bare bones, you know, the skeleton of the web page. And then the CSS makes it, like I said, makes it pretty, adds color, adds uh, form, things like that. So, excuse me, this is not a course in CSS. We'll sort of touch on it here and there because you really can't do HTML without CSS, really. Uh, but just in learning HTML, you don't need to even look at, it, at CSS. So we're not going to spend much time, if any, talking about CSS. A lot of times people don't learn CSS. They just use a CSS framework like Bootstrap. And later on, we'll probably look at Bootstrap very quickly and show you how to do that. So that's kind of that's kind of fun. And we'll look at that towards the end of the course. So very quickly before we move on, you know, I mentioned HTML is just a matter of opening and closing tags, right? Each tag is called an element, an HTML element, and each element can have attributes. Um, attributes are just basically more information inside of the tag, and we don't really have any attributes here yet. So we'll look at these, you know, in a couple of videos from now once we really dive in and start to learn this stuff. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, elements and attributes, right? A tag can have many attributes. There's several sort of common ones that you see often. We'll talk about that. And the only other thing really is just tags open and close and they close with this little forward slash. You can see like right here and right here, right here and right here, uh, right here and right here. You can see here is a tag and it has a tag inside of it. I mentioned earlier that HTML is nested. So this is a tag nested inside of a tag, which is itself is nested inside of this tag. And you can see we usually indent to show the nesting. Now, HTML is not really case sensitive. So, I mean, you can, you can do it like this, right? Oops. 
uh, HTML does not know the difference. Right? This is just as valid as what we had before, but this this way is just a lot easier to read for us stupid humans, right? So uh, this is the convention that we usually use. So I think that's all for this video. In the next video, we're going to jump right in and start learning the different tags and uh, should be fun.